So when it comes to OKRs, what we're trying to do is do a balancing act between what, from a product perspective, are the big initiatives, the big important rocks we want to move. But then we also need to keep in mind from a technical perspective, what are the big rocks that we need to keep in mind to keep the ship running, to make sure that we don't, um, that we take maintain our code base. And we need to be explicit about and calling that out. And then in addition to just listing that out, we need to be data driven about, well, if we don't do this important migration, if we don't do this code cleanup, what is the downside or what is really the upside of doing it? And we want to be to kind of articulate that because sometimes maybe it is true that some new feature for a critical client is actually more important than the technical debt. But there are many times that the technical debt is actually more important than some new feature that, you know, we think might lead to revenue, but perhaps it won't. <clears throat> and by laying out and articulating what success looks like for both the engineering OKRs as well as your product OKRs, you're then able to do a better job of assessing them and looking at what is the most important. Because ultimately, as I say to many teams, engineering teams can really just work on one thing at a time, or an engineer, let's say, just one thing at a time. If everything's on fire for an engineer, nothing's on fire. If everything's a severity one, then nothing's a severity one, because the engineer is going to have to decide which thing to start working on. Right?